It's time now for Keller at Large. Here's John Keller. Good morning. Welcome. This Sunday morning, we're talking with the president of the Massachusetts Senate, State Senator Karen Spilka of Ashland. Madam President, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. So, briefly, what's the good news and the bad news about the state's response to the pandemic so far? Well, overall, I'm, I'm very proud of the state's response to the pandemic. Uh, I talk regularly to Governor Baker, to the Speaker, and we co we've been coordinating uh, a lot of the responses, whether it be through executive order or through legislation. Uh, so we have been uh, very uh, communicative, collaborative, and I think that we have uh, been uh, good at beginning to prepare for the surge that's coming up. So I do want to remind people, continue to social distance, stay at home. You don't, if you don't need to go anywhere, stay home, wash your hands, use the, the sanitizer. We, that will really make a difference. And I believe that Massachusetts will come out, a few more weeks will come out uh, okay in the long run. Without fear mongering or anything like that, let's give it to people straight what would you say is your biggest concern right now uh, that we overwhelm our health care providers our hospitals our community health centers and that's why we have been working very closely with the administration uh, whether it be finding PPEs because I think everybody knows at this point Unfortunately, states are on their own, whether it be masks or isolation gowns or gloves or ventilators, we're on our own. So we've been working closely, making sure that there's the procedures, the laws in place, and the supplies and staffing and beds. And that is our primary focus right now, to contain this public health Crisis. You know, we hear from the White House every afternoon that they're uh, doing their best and they're doing A, B, and C. Is that not true? I don't know what they're doing, but it's clearly I believe they're not doing enough. Uh, just the yesterday, I think it was yesterday, where uh, Trump mentioned how he's not getting any requests for ventilators. Yeah. I don't know what planet he's on, to be blunt. Uh, I know that Massachusetts has requested a thousand ventilators. I think we've gotten about a hundred. And this is uh, out in most of the other states. So, uh, but we've been very active and I commend the, the administration for working uh, and coming up with novel ideas such as getting the masks from China. Now, uh, as we are uh, taping this conversation on Thursday morning, uh, a Senate committee is preparing to vote on a measure that would bar landlords from sending out eviction notices to tenants who, for whatever reason, and these days there are lots of reasons, haven't right. been able to pay their rent. Um, the House has passed a similar version. Uh, what's your position on this? Because... Uh, while obviously everybody sympathizes with tenants who just don't have the rent, many landlords are not big, wealthy tycoons right, right. sitting around. They're operating on the margins as well. How do you find the right balance? And that's the key word, the, the balance. And so we have uh, done, we, we will be passing a bill today to have a moratorium for evictions and foreclosures at this point in time for failure to pay. People still could be evicted for criminal activity, for serious health and safety violations. But if somebody can't pay, we, that's the last thing we want is to have people on the street and be homeless at this point in time. We're telling everybody, stay home. We can't evict them. So uh, the balance is on the other end for, for landlords and people who own buildings. We inserted a, a new clause uh, that would be mortgage forbearance so that the landlord could tack on if say there's two or three months of mortgage that are missed tack it on to the end of the mortgage payments and that way they would still collect it but people and it's very clear people are still responsible for their rent for their mortgage it just well, it may be delayed for the landlords how about utility bills and property taxes 
Uh, we provided it that it's up to local option to delay some of the taxes, okay. and I think that utilities are working with uh, property owners to work out agreements. This is an unprecedented time, and it really requires unprecedented solutions. Okay, hold that thought. When we come back, we'll talk about taxes and the state budget with the Senate president here in Massachusetts, Karen Spilka. So please stay with us.